from the local station. The Morning Show starts now. Right now at 8, you are looking live at Mayport, where two shrimp boats are now underwater after they caught fire overnight. Good morning, everyone. Firefighters worked for hours trying to put those flames out early this morning. But in the past 15 minutes, a fire started again. And then just minutes later, the second boat sank. Earlier this morning, flames could be seen shooting from the two docked boats. The first had sunk in the early morning hours. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy has been following this story all morning since it first broke at 4.30. Joins us live from Mayport. Jen, they tried to fight the flames. They tried to keep the boat afloat. All futile. Good morning. Just in the last 15 minutes or so, the second shrimp boat did sink and go underwater. Now both boats are underwater, and I want to give you a look at the scene here this morning. You can see part of that second shrimp boat is still partially above water. You can see it there. We are not seeing any fire crews out there anymore. They are still here on the scene, but since that boat now is underwater, they have backed away from that boat. I want to show you this sky for video of the ship or of the, of the boat rather as it was going underwater crews were at the time battling some flames that had reignited on the boat and we were seeing smoke right before this bo this boat did go underwater. This is what the scene looked like very early this morning when we first arrived here. You could see the massive flames coming from this boat heavy smoke in the area and firefighters were battling this fire for several hours here this morning. They were called here shortly after three o'clock this morning. And again, this second boat just went underwater just in the last 10 to 15 minutes or so. We did have an opportunity to speak with a shrimper who once worked on this boat. Here's what he had to tell us about his reaction here this morning. The first boat I ever worked on over there, trying to, that's my buddy Eddie's boat. <clears throat> What's it like for you to be out here and see that this morning? I just got told this morning I got woke up out of a dead sleep by one of my friends. I was staying in a friend's camper right up the street. He came out, he said, there's a boat that rolled over. There's a boat on fire. I came down. I just got off that boat like two weeks ago. And to give you some perspective, this is right next to the Coast Guard Station and Safe Harbor Marina. We are still seeing crews out here this morning, and we did have an opportunity to also speak with one of the owners of Safe Harbor Seafoods, and he tells us that this was something he was not expecting, and that this is really the livelihood for these fishermen, and this is a really bad time of year for this to happen for them. It is the holiday season, and they were having a great season, so his heart went out to all of them about the livelihood and the impact that this has on them going forward. Going forward, if you take a look one more time, you can see to the left is the Triton 2, which did go under just in the last 10 to 15 minutes or so. And then to the right is where that second shrimp boat went down earlier this morning. We do know that no injuries were reported and that they are investigating exactly what led up to this fire. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station. You know, I've been talking a bit about the fact that this is more about just losing a couple of boats. Mm -hmm. If you know the history about Mayport shrimpers, two decades ago there were something like 40 shrimp boats that were in the area. And then a couple of years ago, Hurricane Matthew destroyed a lot of the dock space that was in the area, and the number of shrimp boats dwindled to about half of that. There were 20, and they were jockeying for space. So this is insult to injury to a lot of the families and a lot of the men and women who rely on these shrimp boats to provide well, food on the table for their families. It's their livelihood, without a doubt. So we'll continue to follow this story both on air and on newsforjax.com. Be sure to stay with us. And you can stay connected, of course, on your mobile device at newsforjax.com. Download our News for Jax app also. You can turn on those push notifications. So as new information comes into the newsroom throughout the day, we can let you know about it no matter where you are.